We're back with some more Black Sad under the skin. Let me know what you guys think of the series. Um, drop me some comments in the uh, comments section below. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy it. This is part five. Let's do this. Okay, so welcome back. We need to check out the medical records. Uh, I don't know where we can find those. They're usually on the end of the bed, aren't they? But yeah, maybe not in this hospital. Actually, we could ring the police, uh, police dude. Uh, Donna Blacksad. Donna Blacksad? Well, why not? Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... 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 uh... 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way! My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls me. Well, he does sometimes. You're Uncle John! Uncle John! I guessed it! Mom! It's Uncle John! I guessed it! You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... A gun! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! Uh, guns are dangerous. Don't do guns. Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. Yeah! That's why they're so cool! Oops, Mom's coming! Bye, Uncle John! Ray! Is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops! Love you, Uncle John! Go put on your jacket. We're late. Bang, bang, bang! What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang! Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Have you heard from Dad? Have you heard from Dad lately? Not since his last letter. Same old, same old. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Okay, who else can we call them? Uh, we've got Dunn's Gin Weekly. Actually, yeah, let's do. We we'll do Dunn's Gym first. Uh, just the man I was looking for. Jake, it's Black Sad. I just wanted to... I have work to do, John. Call you later. Ronald, get on that ring! Okay, well that didn't go too well, did it? Okay, let's try weekly, see what he's got for us. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that then. We're getting no love on the phone today. Never mind. Right, let's see if we can find these medical records. Hi. You're awake, handsome? Let's use our senses. Okay, what we got? We got eyesight, so... Uh... Okay, there we go. So they sell cigarettes in the hospital. That's, uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. What is that little gizmo? Hmm. What is that? Okay, her name is Re. Is it Rena? Come on, get it. Get it. There we go.
Dr. Tabbert has surgery today. Okay, have you seen the latest, latest uh, test results, please? They ran several tests on Bobby Yale last night after admitting him. Have the results come in yet? Mm, no, I don't think so, handsome. Okay, a pack of Morley's. I'll take a pack of Morley's, please. Honey, get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Hanson. Cool, he's really enjoying that. I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay, so we've got a new deduction. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so uh, Dunn's murder had it planned. Okay, we use that one and that one. It seems like the Doe nurse will be assisting Dr. Talbot during his 12.30 surgery. In four hours. Could I get them to operate any sooner? I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay, so the, uh, it's, it's just there where you can't read it. Fair enough. Uh, Astray? Right. It's interesting. I wonder if we can talk to the other uh, receptionist. Are these receptionists or are they nurses? I'm not quite sure. There we go. Jerry Highfill, long time no see. Black Sad, I didn't want to wake you. How's the boy? Asleep. I hope he recovers in time for the fight. I got tickets. Although between you and me, he doesn't stand a chance. It'll be a fun bout, nonetheless. Not like this. God, this is boring. You got a good job, what bores you? You say you've got a good job, and yet you're bored. Well, it's just a figure of speech, really. I like my job. Is it boring? Yes, but I can entertain myself with a good fight or a football game. Well, watching them, that is. Okay, you wanna smoke? You wanna smoke? Don't smoke or drink. No vice for me. Smoking's dirty. Alcohol goes straight to your head. And women, they're all just me. Well, everyone except mine. Okay, the odds against Yale were that bad? Are the odds against Yale that bad? The boy's talented, don't get me wrong. But stone is stone, you know? I bet half my pay, but you know, no vice for me. No vice at all? Are you sure about that? Not even one little vice? Nope. Between you and me, when someone gives in to vice, it's because something's missing. Something in their life just isn't right. I've got a good wife, a good job, a good house, a good TV, and a good hobby. Sports. Well, watching them, that is. What else do I need, eh? Black said, vice is for losers. Man, I'm bored. <laughs> well, I'm back in. Let's another one of those cards then, let's uh, see if we can grab that. Come on, look at it, there we go. I wonder if we can cause like, um, I don't know. A distraction somehow. Let's try the phone again, see if there's anything on there. Ah, uh, yeah, you go. Trauma. Trauma. 
Rama. Sherry speaking. Get Dr. Gregor Talbot, please. Yes, one minute. Uh, no, actually, Dr. Talbot won't be in until 12.30, according to my registry. Can I ask who's calling, please? Okay, so we're going to impersonate him now. Sherry, this is Dr. Talbot. We have to reschedule the 12.30 procedure. I want everyone in the operating room in five minutes. If anyone gives you any grief, tell them it's a matter of life or death. Understood? A matter of life and death. A matter of life and death. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we can go and read that report now. Laxad, where are you going? This way. Oh, she's there now. What? All right, now. How do I put this? I need something that you have. Oh. Only if you guess why I'm giving it to you. Uh, for the nurse, you want to help criminal investigation? There we go. You want to help me solve a criminal investigation? Well, aren't you smart? But be quick about it. You hear me, huh? If that witch comes back. Okay, blackout following cardiopulmonary resuscitation. What's this one what? say? What does it say here? Oh. You know doctors. The top handwriting is mine. Let's see. Extra systolin dehydration caused by panic attack. Extra what? You know, arrhythmia, like skipped heartbeats. Oh, all right, weird. What about this here? It's a good thing I know that Mr. Yale is in Dr. Ferguson's hands. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Hey, no means no, miss. You really don't know who I am, do you? Miss, I've got orders. And the fact is, those orders say that... There you are, Miss Dunn. Huh? Tell him, Black Sad. I can't get through that thick skull of his. You see, hi, Phil. Uh, she's... Oh, let's go for the top one. She's the owner of Yale's gym. A woman? Whether the kid recovers or not depends entirely on her. Between you and me, and all due respect, miss, but aren't we taking this woman's liberation a little too far? Ooh. All right, let her in. But she's your responsibility. Thanks for convincing the cop. Um, you hired me to find Yale. There we go. You hired me to find Yale. I wanted you to see him with your own eyes. I see. Anyway... You did your job. I'll send you a check the day after the fight. You can leave now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's use our senses. What's she up to? I don't trust the guys. What has she got in that bag? That's a gun, isn't it? Holy shit. Huh, no. She's gonna do something stupid. Sonia, don't. He killed my father. You said so yourself. Uh... Can't take justice into your own you hands. Can't take justice into your own hands. Believe me, it will haunt you as long as you live. He almost killed you in that floozy's apartment. How could he not be guilty? Um, your father wouldn't want this. Your father wouldn't want you to do this. He was a just man, and this is not justice. Shut up! None of that matters. How could he not be guilty? Um, that gun is empty. Since nothing else is working, it's time to bluff it. You know I emptied that gun when I found it in the safe. No. 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 Oh, Why shit. Did you see that? <laughs> oh. Oh. We killed him. Okay, we've got to retry so, that. Don't. He killed my father. You said so yourself. 
Okay, your father wouldn't want this. Your father wouldn't want you to do this. He was a just man, and this is not justice. He almost killed you in that floozy's apartment. How could he not be guilty? Okay, you can't take matters into your, your own. You'll destroy your career. Your father sacrificed everything to pay your way through college. If you do this, you'll destroy the future your father wanted you to have. Shut up! None of that matters! How could he not be guilty? Okay, you can't take matters into your own hands. You can't take justice into your own hands. Believe me, it will haunt you as long as you live. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> Uncle Tim! Sweetie, I came back from Los Angeles as soon as I could. I told you not to rush back. Come on now, honey. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? No, this is John Blacksad, the detective who found Bobby. Oh, so this is strictly professional. I thought you had some good news for your uncle. No, Uncle Tim. Don't be silly. Don't be silly? Look at you. Smart, educated, as dazzling as the brightest of stars. Every single man in this city should be at your feet. Come on. We'd better let him rest. Hmm. I see. Let's say you're right and Bobby Yale is innocent. Who should we focus on now? We? Well, your father turned down my money, but he made me promise one thing, that I'd take care of you if anything happened to him. But I can... I know you're perfectly capable of managing that gym on your own, but we don't even know if Yale will be ready to fight Stone. Besides, someone seems really invested in stopping that fight. And someone has to pay Mr. Blacksad to get to the bottom of all this. Please, talk some sense into her. Your uncle's right. Your uncle is right. Your father wouldn't have wanted you to go through this alone. See? Listen to the detective. All right. Thank you, uncle. Thank you so much. All right. Stop crying or you'll ruin your makeup, honey. Now fix yourself up and I'll buy you some breakfast. Uh... Wait, my purse. I'll get it. It must be... Black said, wait a minute. I think she needs some time alone, just like you and me. Listen, boy, do whatever it takes to find Joe's murder. Whatever it takes. If things get messy, uh -oh. don't worry. I'll clean them up. Deal? Deal. Sure. I'll do my best. Thank you. I trust you to get that ball to the end zone. No. Are you telling stories about the great iron arm again? Wait a minute. Of course. The milestone's quarterback. Tim Iron Arm <laughs> Thorpe. <laughs> it's a good thing folks usually recognize me sooner. Black said, you coming to breakfast? I'd love to, but I have to go ask for a favor. The investigation required that I ask Jake for a small favor. Or demand it, if worse came to worst. Can we not get up there? Maybe we can talk to him here. 
I can't walk up that. Here we go. That's it. All right, let's do the senses first. What we got? Okay. That's one. He never feels inclined to hit me. He's twice my size. He's been training with those same shorts for who knows how long. Not the smartest cookie in the jar, nor the most tactful. But do I trust him? No. Do I consider him a friend? Yes. Hey, Jake. Not now, John. Hey, Jake. I said not now. <laughs> Let's keep going, shall we? Piss him off. Hey, Jake. I said not now. All right. Fair enough. This one's got extra padding, just like Jake. So it appears they've um, that it seems to be have been an update for the game, and it seems to resolve my issues when trying to do the focus. This the screen would sometimes freeze. Um, yeah, it's nice to resolve. A boxer take to the head throughout his career. I think that's all of that. Yep. Okay, let's see. If we can try our conversation. Hey. Hi. Hey. Focus, will you? Hey, Jake. I said not now. All right. Um, and there's nothing else to focus on with him, is there? Kind of got it all. So I guess we're going for a walk. What if the goat's out the back? Fences us a chat. We still haven't sorted this paint out, so... We'll have a look through here, see if there's anything new. Excellent. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome. Let's have one of those cards there. Let's see if we can pick it up. No, it won't let me pick it up. Right, we could go upstairs, we'll try the office, and then we'll try the uh, the go at the back. See if he's got anything he'd like to say. Doesn't appear to be any anything in there interactive as well, which is bizarre. Go and check upstairs. This is the rooftop, isn't it?
Uh, well, there's nothing new up here. I'm gonna go back down, speak to the goat. Come on, Black said, turn around. There we go. No, we can't go outside either. All right, well, it's not really leaving us a lot to do, is there? We could try the phone. No, doesn't want to use the phone. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Take five. Go on. What, John? What's so important? Oh, he's, he's a bit angry with us, isn't he, today? Um, have you noticed anything strange about Sonya? Or oh, we've got the, uh, why are you coaching that guy? And where is O'Leary's headquarters? Hmm, what should we go for? Let's try the, uh, strange about Sonya. Have you noticed anything strange about Sonya? I don't know. Yesterday she said she hated the job. But it also seemed like she wanted to save the place. Do you get any of this? I sure don't. People are underpicked, uh, un unpredictable and inconsistent. It's just the way folks are. We say one thing and then we go and do the opposite. You just can't expect us to be consistent. Why are you coaching that guy? Why are you coaching that guy? Oh, that's right. You don't know. Sonia asked me to run the gym. Well, at least the fun part. As soon as Bobby yells back on his feet, I'll turn him into a champ. I'll make him crush stone. Just you wait. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, have you ever been a coach before? Is it the first time you coached anyone? Yeah, but uh, you think I can't do this, don't you? Well, screw you. We'll win that fight. Where's uh, O'Leary's headquarters, please? Could you tell me where O'Leary's headquarters are? Uh, what for? No, no, no. You could get me into trouble. No way. Come on now. Uh, you owe me for lying yesterday. You lied to me yesterday. And being the good friend that I am, I kept your secret. You owe me. I don't think I'd keep protecting you if we weren't friends. Although, if we were friends, you wouldn't hesitate to help me. Tell me, Jake, are we friends or not? Damned cat. All right. O'Leary's hideout is in the basement of a Chinese restaurant. But I don't even know how to get in. Well, I'll see you tonight. Wait, were we supposed to meet? Of course. Your place, 11 p.m. See you there. Ronald, the break's over. After 30 hours of work and several beatings, every bone in my body ached for a bed. Now it's my turn. So I went home to recharge. <clears throat> because the night ahead was bound to be promising. What do you know about that basement? Well, let me think. Not then. Come on, Jake, for Christ's sake. Strain that little boxer brain. You must know something. I've 
come to get O'Leary several times, but they always make me wait in the dining room. One day it was so late that the restaurant was closed. They made me call from a payphone in that alley over there to let them know I was here. A few minutes later, O'Leary came out the back door, that red one there. All right, you stay by the payphone. Wait until I'm inside. If you see anyone, call the same number you did that one time. That got it? Screw you! A promising night indeed. If I'm right, could it be an elevator shaft? How does this thing open? Okay, so he's in the, uh, in the alleyway. I just want to check out everything in this surrounding area before we go to the door. You're in Leong Tong territory. Nice. A bit too high to climb. If the basement I'm looking for were in that building. Okay, let's uh, try and turn around, go and uh, ring the doorbell. No, plan will only work if O'Leary doesn't know I've been here. <laughs> Stupid rabbit. <laughs> Stupid Does he need a shotgun to deal with suppliers? Rabbit. <laughs> Would he even notice if I got in? <laughs> Stupid rabbit. <laughs> Stupid pig. I'm guessing it lights up when they ring at the main door. <laughs> Stupid duck. Maybe it leads to the basement. Tells you he'd notice me no matter how stupid. <laughs> stupid coyote. What happened? Should we run for it? Do I look like I'm in a hurry? There's someone watching TV in the restaurant. There's a guy watching TV inside the restaurant. A red panda, I think. Does it ring a bell? I don't recall any panda waiters. Are you done? What do you think? There's a hole that could lead to the basement. I need you to ring the doorbell. There's a trap door on the ground. There's a trap door on the ground, right by the restaurant. Does that sound familiar? Huh? The, the restaurant or the trap door? Okay. Forget it. What's taking you so long? You want to switch places? You, uh... I'm going to take another look. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to him quick. What? Check out that graffiti. You're in On Leon Tong territory. Wow. I thought the Tong Wars had ended years ago. Maybe someone nostalgic just got bored. Damn Chinese mafias. Yeah, American mafias are infinitely better, no doubt. Uh, there's a hole that could lead to the basement. From the back door, I can see a hall that might lead to the basement. 
Does that sound familiar? O'Leary sometimes comes from a hallway, but who knows if it's that one? Okay, I need you to ring the doorbell. I need you to go to the front door and ring the bell. All right, is there a bar in that alley? Have you been drinking? Count to 30, ring the bell, then run for the car. Got it? Whoa, you better send a bunch of Natalia's my way after this. So, now what are you gonna do? I'll open the door with my lockpicks. Once I'm in... I'm still not sure if I'll take the hall or the door on the right. Okay, I am going to go down this door here. The lock on that door was not your standard model. I had to give it my all. Uh, find a source of light before the light runs out. No, not that one. That looks like a switch to me, but it doesn't want to uh, keep walking into things as well, which is really frustrating. And what was that? Okay, move the mouse to point your flashlight and enable new hotspots. Come on. Huh. I was expecting some frozen bodies. There's one on each table, except this one. The odds are incredibly in Stone's favor. I guess if he's the reigning champion, 
and Bobby Yale is just a contender, but maybe word got out about his condition. Does O'Leary have a network of pals? Wow, I didn't realize you could place so many bets on a single baseball game. until the fight. Sometimes I forget that criminals, even the office variety, have family and kids. Yeah, uh, lucky them. Anyway, maybe things aren't so bad on the dark side. A little thingamajig that adds on its own. What will they think of next? Oh yeah, we've looked at this, haven't we? Okay, let's do some deductions. So we've got one deduction, and I'm pretty sure it's to do with... Where is it? Okay, let's just try these two first. Oh, and there's another one. Uh Huh. That lizard isn't Yale's doctor. Okay, then we might have another one. No, okay, so that was the only one. Nothing else to look at there. Yeah, let's make our way back. Oh, didn't even know this was here. Could that be Ireland? file after file of celebrity reports with all sorts of shady information ranging from S to Z almost all of them were athletes is that what O'Leary meant when he said that detectives and police officers were his friends I wonder how many spy for him if I were to pitch in who would I spy on took up Bobby Yao In Bobby Yale's folder, all I found was a log of his incredible stats as an aspiring champion. 20 victories, 16 by knockout. Although, at the end of the report, someone had underlined one word several times. Untouchable.
Okay, let's look at stone. According to Stone's report, he was so clean, not to mention hard to corrupt, that O'Leary opted for a more subtle strategy. Apparently, when he broke up with the tennis player Helen Moore, he set her up with Stone. Lucky for him, they hit it off. As I put away the report, I stopped in my tracks. Did I really want to risk knowing what O'Leary had on my good friend, the incorruptible police commissioner? Read it. I sighed in relief. O'Leary had tried to buy Smirnoff on several occasions, but failed. Luckily, O'Leary had nothing on him, or me. Okay, let's look at Timothy Thorpe. Thorpe had been a rising football star before the war, which he came back from with honors and decorations. After the truce, he resumed his career. He won three season trophies and a couple of MVP awards. He retired after an accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. He started his own sports advertising agency four years ago, but according to the files, O'Leary hadn't even tried to corrupt him. copy two of three we listen if you call it listening to the sentimental romance your eyes act like the moon if they're not together anymore why does O'Leary keep so many pictures of romantic moments with Helen Moore Can't seem to focus on the... Come on, there we go. <laughs> Look at that catfish! Come on. No. That's it, that's it. I'd say that's Ireland too. Luckily or not, files N through R included no one that I could somehow connect to the case. This guy's obsessed. Dunn's integrity was legendary. Even in O'Leary's shady reports, just like Yale had said, Dunn had kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym when he found him snooping around. Not quite sure who that is. The report on Yale's father was the shortest of all, since only his name was left. Why? Empty pole. Hmm. 
We've got Frank Cassidy. Cassidy's report was possibly the longest among all of O'Leary's files. Apparently, their rivalry went way back. So much so that they spied on each other in the most unthinkable ways. At least I was able to confirm what Yale had told me. Cassidy had threatened Dunn after he refused to join the manager's union. Can you not walk forward? No? <laughs> The good news is, I don't need lockpicks to open it. The bad news, I didn't bring explosives. Even Dunn had a gun in his office. O'Leary couldn't possibly be the exception. Dunn had $200 in his safe. O'Leary had about $20,000 in a drawer. Keep catching on on something there. It won't. He it won't, won't walk past it. There we go. Use my big words. Uh, what if that fish tank has got anything to do with it? Hang on. If I can get focus on it again. There we go. Done this one over here, have we? Yeah, let's do this one. Strange as it may seem, the reports reveal that O'Leary had hired Jake as a bodyguard precisely because he was absolutely clean. Apparently, he liked to surround himself with honest people when he mingled with the high society. Helen Moore. Helen Moore's file was, by far, one of the juiciest. She had been just a run-of-the-mill tennis player until O'Leary launched her career by rigging enough games to help her climb the ranking. However, O'Leary hadn't fixed any of her games in over a year. In spite of that, she remained undefeated. Be as it may, it was clear that O'Leary had enough information to ruin her career. Okay, I think we kind of got everything we can from this room. Oh, hang on, what's that? You see something else? There we go. What is that? Let's just try the uh, the tank one more time. I just can't help but think that we're supposed to be looking for something here. No, okay. Jake. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jake? Here it is, middle of the night. 
okay. Jake. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. And we're working extra hours. Hey, Jimmy, what do you think about that? I think he's scared stiff, Desmond. <laughs> Why's that, Jimmy? We're giving you the red carpet treatment. We even let you in the boss's office. You're one lucky fellow. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh. Calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, 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 three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. Then tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? <laughs> no, please, please, please. I didn't do anything, I swear. We're gonna save him. O'Leary, the police have surrounded <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> 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 you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh. Calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, 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 three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. Then tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? <laughs> no, please, please, please. Uh, stay put. I swear. He was a good guy. <laughs> of course, you already knew that. You knew him better than me, right? <laughs> he was my cousin. I. That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job. And you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. No, no, no. That's no way to treat a widow, is it? <laughs> She's lying. Why would I do that? What about the kid? <laughs> Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? Son of a bitch. I didn't want to. It was his idea. <laughs> Selfishly, I was glad I hadn't risked my life to save Jimmy. Maybe not even someone like him deserves to die. But... One could also argue that I didn't deserve to die for someone like him. Who's your boss? Give me a name! Cassidy. It was his idea. He said you'd hired me if I'd managed to scare the widow, and I just... All right, all right. Let's just... Calm down now. It's gonna be okay. There are 
two sacred principles that rule my life. <laughs> the first principle is the love for my family. I do anything to protect them. <laughs> the second principle I never put my future in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. And I would even add a third principle. Or, better yet, a rule. If anything threatens either of these two crucial principles, I take matters into my own hands. You see where this is going? For the first time, I got someone killed. Even though all I really did was rat him out. No, 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 I just... Stop I, interrupting I, me, Jimmy. No. It's not polite. Sorry. They're all the same. So rude. You know what? Let's leave it at that. You're going to give a message to that disgusting walrus Cassidy, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Good boy. What? 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 What's the message? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You still don't get it, do you? You are the message. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Wrap him up. Make sure Cassidy gets the message for breakfast, will you? I hope he chokes on it. Got it. Hmm, where are you hiding, little fishy? Once again, you didn't get to hear the end of my story. Well, that wraps up that video. If you want to see more, then check out the channel. Until next time, guys. See ya.